If you love all the holiday scents but have no budget for expensive candles and soaps, today we're gonna make our homes smell amazing using Dollar Tree products. This is Shannon from Skip to My Life where we talk about living an upscale lifestyle on a downsized budget. Grab this coastal cedar scent from the Delta Home Collection at Dollar Tree and simply pour it into a glass hand soap container. You will duplicate those beautiful, rich jewel tones of the high-priced hand soaps. One of the reasons I love the high-priced hand soaps is because of the smell. So pick up this defining shampoo for curls at Dollar Tree. It has an excellent scent that you will love. Pour it into a crystal glass hand soap container like the one you see here, and then simply add some food coloring and whatever holiday color you love. Now I know what you're thinking, won't that food coloring come off in my sink or on my hand? So I'm gonna show you how it worked for me. I tested this and there was no remaining coloring in my sink or on my hands, but I do love this deep jewel tone fall and holiday color. If you're new to Skip to My Life, a great big welcome. I love to show you how to use Dollar Tree items to organize, simplify, and decorate your home on a budget. Be on the lookout for these faux wool pumpkins from Dollar Tree. They come in several different colors and they make a great scent diffuser for your holiday. Just drop a few of your favorite essential oils on top and let that evaporate in the air over time. Now make sure that whatever surface you're setting these on, the oil does not come in contact with your furniture. You can use this same idea to make your laundry smell amazing by picking up some wool dryer balls and some essential oils. Now I love the ones from Walmart because they're pre-mixed into some really nice fragrances for all over your home. All you need to do is drop a couple drops of your favorite essential oil on some of the wool balls. Now I always wrap them in a sock when I'm gonna throw them in the dryer. I'm just afraid that that oil would get on my clothes. I'm not sure if you need to do this or not. Comment below and let me know if you are an expert at this and let me know is the sock necessary. This is such a simple way to make your home smell amazing on an extreme budget, especially for towels and linens. Now. I love to do this kind of thing when I'm having guests, but also just to get me in the mood for the holidays. One of the quickest ways to make your home smell really fresh is to wash your rugs with scent boosters. If you like the labels I'm showing on some of these laundry items, you can get them for free by clicking on the link in my description box. You will get 14 pages of household labels and you'll also be signed up for my weekly email newsletter where I take you the behind the scenes and tell you what's coming up next. For those of you who have subscribed to my channel, you know that I often send out surveys in my community tab, and about 25% of you told me that your favorite way to freshen your home and make it smell amazing is simply by cleaning your space. If you have pets like I do, you know how important it is to remember to keep them clean, but not just the pet themselves, also their collar and their bedding. This can eliminate a lot of odors you may not even be smelling anymore. If you like a really subtle, fresh fragrance, pick up some salt and a small fabric softener from Dollar Tree. I'm also using this package of 10 condiment cups from the party section at Dollar Tree. We're only gonna use five today. This will just depend on how big your space is and how much you wanna use this idea. Begin by filling those condiment cups about three quarters full with a coarse salt. Then you'll just add the fabric softener and whatever fragrance you love to cover the salt. Now I started with about a cap full per container. That was way too much. Just add enough of the fabric softener so that it covers the salt. That's gonna keep it from spilling. Next, you'll just wanna place some holes in the top of that condiment container. It's really easy to do with a household hole punch. These little air fresheners are so inexpensive and easy to make and you can tuck them behind all kinds of things to hide them and make your whole house smell so amazing. If you're getting some great ideas today, don't forget to let me know by clicking that like thumbs up button. Normally we are here to talk about small space organizing and all things budget friendly organizing, but today with the holidays coming up, I just couldn't pass on showing you some of these tips and hacks that I know you're going to want to use around your house to make it smell amazing on a budget. Almost 75% of you answered my survey by saying that you love to either burn candles, use diffusers, or some other kind of scent that you add to your environment. 
Before we add fragrances to our home, it's really important that we remove any musty or mildewy smells under our sinks. I believe that there is no greater value for this than the 125 Moisture Eliminator from Dollar Tree. Now I'm demonstrating how to use this because you really do need to remove that aluminum covering if you want this to work. As you can see, the charcoal in this product draws water and moisture inside and traps it in that container. Here's a simple and great smelling hack for shoes and other areas that tend to harbor odors. Even if you don't ordinarily use dryer sheets, grab a small pack from Dollar Tree and stuff one in each of your shoes. You will notice they smell fresh and clean the next time you're ready to wear them. Here's Bella, my trusty sidekick, sitting on what we call her throne. It's this oversized chair by the window. She loves to sit here, so I am going to neutralize some of that puppy odor by sneaking one of these fabric softener sheets under the blanket. And it looks like I woke Bella up from her afternoon nap so that she could say hi to some of your fur babies. If you're going to use this idea and you live in a small space like we do, I recommend you stick with the same scent. So I love this Gain Fresh scent and I'm using it both in those little air fresheners that I made as well as the dryer sheets. Dollar Tree carries lots of different kinds of air fresheners, but I have a pretty sensitive nose and our space is small enough that many of these just overpower it. Many of you have told me that you use baking soda like I do to freshen your laundry and other spaces in your home. If you use microfiber or other types of reusable cleaning cloths, you may not know that baking soda and water is a wonderful soak to get all of the residue and dirt out of those cloths. If you've used the baking soda carpet freshener from Dollar Tree, you may have had the same problem that I have. My biggest problem with these kinds of baking soda carpet fresheners is that the smell is just too strong for my small space. The other problem I have is that they often come out in clumps and make it really hard for my vacuum cleaner to pick up. I decided to make a little bit more cost-effective version by sifting that baking soda first and then using some of my favorite essential oils in an amount that I like. Next, I just used an empty salt shaker to transfer that concoction, and this is going to last me probably three to six months. I'll be giving you links to these essential oils as well as many of the other products I'm using in the description box drop down. Now, if you have trouble finding that, look at the title of this video and you will see a dot, dot, dot with the word more. Click on that word more and you'll get a drop down description box with all the links I'm talking about. If you have a really sensitive nose or sensitive skin, you may want to look for this Dragonfly brand at Dollar Tree. They have unscented versions of many of their products, but I decided to try this scent of pink lemonade in the bath soap and see what I thought of it. Well, this one was a thumbs down for me. The smell just really didn't come across at all and the bubbles were underwhelming. I have recently discovered this pink coconut scent though, and I love it. So try it and tell me what you think. Okay, all you candle lovers. Now, as we all know, candles can be really expensive, and I have to be honest and tell you, Dollar Tree just does not compete. The packaging and the scent aren't really good enough to merit purchasing their candles, but I thought that I would give their seasonal scent cubes a chance. I'm gonna test out the pumpkin and the toasted marshmallow duo pack for you, but they also have several other scents. Now, first of all, let me tell you, these smell great in the package, and that's what got me to buy them because I smelled them in the store and they smelled wonderful. But to be honest with you, once I burned both of them, there was a bit of a waxy paraffin smell to them that just did not appeal to me. But don't worry, candle lovers, because I am going to give you another cost-effective alternative. Walmart's Molt Cider and Fall Farmhouse candles are three-wick candles that give a wonderful, modest scent without overpowering, and they're great from now all the way through the holiday season for less than $5 each. We'll comment with an orange emoji in the comment box if you are a simmer pot lover like I am. I'm going to give you two tried and true fragrances that you can use with simple items you pick up from Dollar Tree. Now spices and especially vanilla can be really expensive. So do not get the expensive version for these simmer pots. Get the inexpensive version and we'll save the rest for our wonderful holiday baking. 
for your first ingredient, you'll add a citrus like the small mandarin orange packet or a lemon or orange. Next, add a tablespoon of cinnamon followed by a tablespoon of vanilla. And then you'll just add water until you get that pot to simmer and it smells so fresh. If you prefer a more spicy scent, here are two ingredients. Grab some cranberry juice from Dollar Tree along with a tablespoon of their powdered clove. I used one cup of cranberry juice and two cups of water, brought that to a simmer and it smells amazing. Dollar Tree does have its own line of essential oils, so let's put those two to the test by making a really easy and affordable reed diffuser. I picked up one of these beautiful amber colored bottles from Dollar Tree, as well as some cuticle oil, which I believe is mostly vitamin E. You'll also need rubbing alcohol. Now Dollar Tree just carries 70%, but a higher percentage is even better, or you could use inexpensive vodka. For our reeds, I'm just using some of the bamboo skewers from Dollar Tree's cooking section. This idea works best if you choose a vessel with a very small opening at the top. Now I am using as my carrier oil that cuticle oil, and I'm also using some 93% alcohol that I purchased at Walmart. I'm using Dollar Tree's Palo Santo essential oil, and I went ahead and removed that stopper top because I like to pour it in versus just shaking all those drops in. And finally, I cut my bamboo skewers at an angle to allow them to soak the oil up more quickly. Now, I think that this makes a really attractive reed diffuser on a budget. I'll have to be honest and tell you that the throw on this scent was not amazing. I did also try it in my diffuser and it gave me a headache. So I think that there's probably a lot of added ingredients to their essential oils. But for a little project like this, I think it's a great idea. Now, every year around the holidays, Dollar Tree comes out with these scented cinnamon brooms. If you think the scent of cinnamon means the holidays, then this item is a great purchase for you. All you really need to do is decorate it with a seasonal bow from Dollar Tree and hang it by your front door. The other thing that I tried is putting it on my dashboard in my car. And when you open your car, you will be greeted with that wonderful festive smell of cinnamon. Comment below and let me know if someone you know or yourself use these little tree car fresheners. They always remind me of that movie, Grumpy Old Men. Well, Dollar Tree has a new product. It's a white sage lily and musk hanging freshener. I'm using this in my closet and I'm gonna warn you if you have a sensitive nose to fragrance, you probably wanna leave it in the cellophane package and just open a corner because it does have a strong throw. If you're looking for a natural and cost-effective way to freshen your home, pick up a package of eucalyptus the next time you're at the grocery store. I love the scent that this gave off in my car, but you can also hang it from your shower, and every time you run that steam, you're getting a spa-like experience. If you're still with me, my friend, it's because I wanna tell you that today is not the end of your story. So no matter what has happened today, I want you to get up, put one foot in front of the other, and keep going.